It is pouring, so hopefully you guys will be able to hear. <laughs> okay. All right. So Corey is going to. So I'm going to learn something. Yeah. What are we doing today? Oh, yeah, <laughs> waterfall. Corey's going to learn the waterfall. I guess, I guess we're going to so, do a waterfall. Yep. Um, so he's going to do all of the things to get prepped. And where did our white Oh, white so hold on. Go? But before we get started, last time I swore, and somebody said we needed a swear jar. So here's my little swear jar, just in case. Hopefully it will stay empty. It's got one quarter in it from <laughs> last time. So um, as many of you know, I don't like swearing in my account. Uh, so. And I don't swear, so I don't know how that came out. Well, oh. that, that is the one word that does come out uh -huh. sometimes. Uh -huh. I, won't, I won't repeat it right now. Though. Okay, okay, we should probably get started. All right. Should we get started? Yep, we've got 24 viewers on Instagram. Don't know how many are on Facebook, but okay. that's okay. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is because we collect oil and dust and all things on our fingernails so okay. you're going to take a lint-free pad and you are going to get that, that, that in there's a whole bunch of them Do I we just only take need one, one. All right. <laughs> you're gonna clean let's see if i can get this in frame do i get a, you're gonna I, use isopropyl alcohol is this alcohol oh it yeah. is i thought we had uh okay yeah, no let's move here, over there. here i can, can I? there we go Gonna learn the framing, so, you guys. And then do I, so there's a oh there we go. See, got it. Okay, got it. So alcohol. Now what? Yep. Now you're gonna cleanse the nail plate. Oh, real quick. Before I get started with, before we get started, I want you guys to see something here. And see that red mark, um, right here. And it's got a white spot in it, which I'm not quite sure why. But basically, that's like a blood blister. And somewhere uh, several months ago, I whacked my nail matrix right there, probably jammed it into doing something with the horses. Um, and so it's just turned into a blood blister. Having a, well, I do have an idea of why that white spot is there. That's where the cells um, stopped, the, or they, they were damaged enough that uh, the nail cells did not turn transparent like they did here. So that's why it looks like that. And if you get one, don't freak out. It's no biggie, it'll just grow right out. And the great thing is, we cover it with polish. Woohoo! Okay. Okay, now I'm back. Cleanse the nail plate. Cleanse the nail plate. So how do with I do rubbing that? alcohol and so lint free okay. pad. Okay, a lint free pad, what do I do? Just rub it? Wipe it. Like that? Yeah. Little, I do it faster. Little finger. Like, what do you mean faster? Like. No. <laughs> no. No, like that. Well. Okay. You just wipe. Just swipe? It's not scrubbing. Swipe or no swiping? <laughs> I'm surprised you remember that after a decade of it's been a while, little children. It? All right. Yeah. And it was only Justine. The boys never watched Dora. Yeah, they didn't like Dora. Yeah. So. Okay, then you're going to use okay. so a... I'm done, I'm done with, am I done with that? No. You're going to use a uh, cotton. cotton swab right and do the same thing, but the underside of the tips. Because guess what? Those get dirty, too. Okay. Do I swipe that one, too? Then I just rub it. Rub it in there. You're trying to get dirt out. Okay. Dust. Yeah. It feels like there's a lot of alcohol going under there, though. That's so fine. It evaporates fast. really fast. Okay. All right. We are all cleansed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for the sake of time, normally you would do two coats of a ridge filling base coat, but we're just going to kind of skip that okay. uh, just for this coat? presentation. No. I don't think I did a base coat. Okay, now you need white. Where did it go? Right, there. Oh, here we go. You and guys, there's so you much go like stuff. this to, sh to shake it up, right? Uh huh. Okay. Um, which is why we sell mixing balls too, because so go ahead and now you can start polishing. Okay, you can talk. Yeah, um, because in order to save money, oh, wait, shoot. a lot of companies. How much do I need? Sure on, how much do I need on there? Just one little one swipe. Swipe and then oh geez, I gotta remember. Fan and push back and then pull. Yeah. Um, so this is why we sell mixing balls, stainless steel mixing balls, because companies started to in order to save Thank money, you. they started eliminating one <laughs> mixing ball. Sorry. Or Are we supposed to use peel? I got a big no, glob fine. right there, is that you're okay? Fine. This design, you shouldn't really need a, a latex barrier like Simply Peel unless you are hugely messy, which, I don't know. 
We'll find out uh, if Corey I needs it. I might be super messy. We'll see. Okay. Oops. There we go. Is that okay? Yeah, this is kind it's... of fun getting pampered by my husband. I don't know exactly <laughs> what the results will be, but... That, that seems like a big old glob, though. Well, okay? you're not probably not wiping it off enough. Okay. Wiping it off the inside of the neck of the bottle. Okay. Which is one of those, actually, these things, you guys, when you see what we... See, that's what a big old his, glob. Is that going to be bad? It, um, Do I need to get some of that? Can you oh, see Oh, we didn't bring the... Wait. What? I've got everything everywhere, you guys. Oh. Um, okay, well, we, would clean, we would clean that with a orange wood stick. And guess what? You got a purple wood stick. No, it's that... got sand and paper oh. on it. So, um, well, normally you would use an orange wood stick, clean that out. Now just Corey can has I, lots. Can I use a lint-free pad? If you want to smear it all. <laughs> like, go like that. Okay. Does that do anything? Oh, yuck. <laughs> Okay, don't do that. <laughs> that didn't that didn't work so good. <laughs> All right. Do I clean that up with just a little you bit can, of polish? You, yeah, you can try. Tell me. Or you might I don't know make what I'm mess. doing. All right. Be careful. Oh, it's getting kind of globby. Okay, now I'm not gonna let him do this, but when it gets like that, the best way to smooth it out is to lick it. I know it sounds gross, but there's you some. Don't, don't I am not going to let you lick my finger. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> something with the saliva kind of smooths that out. All right. So it'll just be globby, I guess. Uh -huh. Fine, I won't lick your finger. Thank you. <laughs> I will be a nail professional. All right. Uh huh. Okay, one more. All right, I may not be a great nail professional this time. You will get better. Oops. I'm getting it on your skin a little bit. Well, that just means more cleanup for you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> do I need more than one coat? Um, For this, no, let's not do Should that. Should I put a little bit more on that? To if you want to mess it nice? up, yeah. Will I mess it up? Why will I mess it up? Is it, for this design, it's fine. You're going to actually cover all that up. But, well, Remember, but still, why does it mess it up? Because you're going to get it globbier, and it's going to take it, longer to dry. It won't, like, smooth it just by getting a little more polish on there? If you do a whole nother coat that has to be smooth, you cannot do it partially. Oh, okay. Because then it's going to look partially globby. Okay. Oops, I forgot to say this is color club, color club something. <laughs> This 24 a, French tip. There you go. This one's um, really well loved oh, as in a one coater. As you can see, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Like this one, because Corey did it thicker, but that's going to make it take longer to dry. So okay. it's up to you. I want to smell it. <laughs> I can't tell. I don't know <laughs> if that's dry or not. <laughs> Okay. So, Corey's going to try it a few different ways. He's going to try with a striping brush, uh, striping polish. So, um, so we're going to start with? Yep. And yeah. guess what? I like to buy stuff on Reduced sale. Reduced price, two seventy nine. This yeah. is, I don't know what this is, because it's covered up there so easy. It's so easy. It's so easy. <laughs> is that a different, I don't know I what that's I think it's from. a song. I know, well, it was like. No, it's an ad for something. I do not know. I don't But I don't know if it's polish. <laughs> anyway. Oh, there we go. It's so easy. Stride right. Stripe right. Stripe right. Stripe right. Yeah. Okay. I found these in Sally's Beauty Supply. At a discount, which is always good. All right. Okay. So what you're going to do. What color am I going to use? Is the waterfall was this created. One. You can use whatever you want. Okay. Um, oh. And you're not going to do all of the nails. Remember. You can do Because we're going to have an accent We're going to do this three different ways. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay, so I'm going to do one nail with this We're going to show everybody three different ways. Okay. So this was, so what you're going to do is alternate. So you want like three strokes of this, and then you're going to have three strokes of the silver, and oh. a couple strokes of the pink, and a couple strokes of the So just kind purple. of randomy. Yep, yeah. and you don't want to go too far Past. So about two thirds is the longest, and they're going to be different lengths. And then we start back here and go towards the tips. Yes. Okay. 
Okay. I think Not the need... other way? No, that would be hard. Yeah, would and Plus, be hard. you'd get it all over the okay. skin. Oh, by the way, who, who started this whole technique? Oh, this was Sammy of Nailosaurus. Uh, she's amazing. And she has been blogging for well over six years. I've been following her for six years. So, okay. You okay. ready? I don't know. You get to do this now. Which one? This one. Okay. So I just do like, I'm just doing three of these. Mm -hmm. See, I got to see these have these long, skinny brushes. 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 <laughs> that's what that's called, that's isn't it? <laughs> How much paint, paint? How much polish do I need on here? Uh, try it. Try it on try the mat it. and see what you think. Oh. oh. Hello. Yeah, we got this Practice cool mat, mat. But I don't want to do where your hand is. Where can I do it that they can see? Okay, I got it. I can see. Over in the grids. Like that? Just like that. Oh, sweet. Ooh, and I can make my little swoosh now. <laughs> okay, guys, we'll know. see how I he does. I don't know why I do that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it totally... It totally oh, went. Oh, my gosh. Okay. No, that's I'll good. Turn no, my see, no, 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 because in the waterfall, see, there's a rock sticking out, and it, like, made it go that way. <laughs> the water's just flowing around the rock. Oh, gosh. It's a waterfall, right? I, I don't want that. Don't bump that. Sarcastic by Nature says it's storming here in Cape Town, South, South oh Africa. Oh my gosh, I can't go straight. Is this hard to do on your own nails? Uh, like to make it go straight? Everything's hard to do on your own nails at the beginning. Oh, geez. And we look at all of these amazing bloggers who have been doing it for yeah, like that one two, is a little better. one year, two years, three years. And we all go, well, why can't we do it like them? This is why. Okay. Practice. We got to practice. All right. So that was the first one. That's just, you know, adding, you know, waterfalls aren't perfect. The water doesn't, well, it's sort of gravity makes it sort of flow down. You can tell that to yourself. <laughs> if it makes you happier. It does make me happy. <laughs> so now oh, I just kind gosh. of, these are kind of randomly going in there. Oh, jeez. How do I do it? Okay. How, is there some way to, oh my gosh. Is there some way to, like, make it easier to go straight? Um, hold your hand steadier. If you if I put my hand if you and put just the heel use, of your hand. Heel a hand down and just swipe with my fingers. Yeah. Try it. Alright. Let's see. And <laughs> I still can't go straight. So go I'm just making it look slower. cool. No, no, it's look, go you can go slow. You can go slow. And it'll and it'll still get the Try it. Okay. Do I have to wait till those things dry or something? Oh, I haven't been mixing these. Is that okay? We mixed them better? with our fancy shaker yesterday. Oh, that was yesterday. It's gonna be fine. Does it does it separate overnight? It a little bit. Could. All right. I don't know how much to have on here. Okay. And these so, these dry, this is thin enough, so it dries fast enough, right? Right. Oh, I'm supposed to go slower. <laughs> that was not yeah. slower. Oh my gosh, and that one went all the way too. Slow down. There you go. Look at that. Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> I read that somewhere. The tortoise? The yurtle, the Yur turtle. No, no, it wasn't yurtle, the turtle. It was the tortoise in the hair. All right. I think even the non parent is a little bit coarse in the hair. That's there you go. kind of okay. Is that better? Yeah, the other might thing be a little, too, it might be a little thick. But. The other thing, too, is that um, you can push down more on the brush at the beginning. Okay. And let's make it complicated. And then lift up as you're finishing. Well, that That's is, a calligraphy thing. Isn't that kind of what I was sort of doing? Lifting up mm, as no. you finish? No. Well, sort of. Kind of. Oh, that looks like. I don't know. All right. Slow. We aren't dancing. Now we've got pretty much so much that. polish, we can't tell what the heck you're doing. Well, also, I think this, I don't know that this is mixed up real well. It like looked like it had clear goopies in it. Because we, th we had to thin some of these out. With polish thinner, you can get polish thinner to make your thick polishes thinner. So, do you know why you would not want to use acetone to thin it? Oh, you told me this yesterday, because I asked. 
I go, because I'm going, well, acetone is like for cleaning up stuff. So Anna said when she was a little girl, she <clears throat> learned, she used to use acetone, and it, it made the polish duller. So it wasn't nice and shiny. It made, gave it more of a matte finish. How did I do? Kind of. Kind of? Okay. Well. Yeah, so basically polish has different solvents. And this is not. some have a tiny bit of acetone, but acetone is not your primary solvent that, that keeps it liquid. So um, when you put acetone in it to try and thin it, it's the wrong kind of solvent. And so, as we know, when we take it off our nails, it starts to disintegrate it. Obviously, that's what we want. All right. Isn't that beautiful? That's, that's pretty good. Even with my little sideways swoopy things, it looked, yeah. turned out okay. I what, wouldn't. What do you guys this, think? I would right. not call this a waterfall. Why? Because they all need to be straight. Why? Because that's what Sammy created. So but, technically, this is the Corey. But waterfall. Something. But waterfalls have variety and it's like not all the drips are falling perfectly okay. straight right so yeah i think sammy would be proud <laughs> all right. sammy's not watching oh. <laughs> so can you move those polishes i can we're gonna do a different technique i guess so bye bye it's so easy stripe right oh. we'll do the next one. Oh, we're gonna use acrylics Anna got these cool, fancy acrylics for all of, all of you hollow lovers. Look at that one. Can you see what that's going to look like? We'll that, see if it's hollow. We'll see if that actually works right. Let's do this one. Okay, this blue one. This is a no brush. No name. No name brush. Striping brush. Striping brush. Okay. See that? Can you see that? I'm pretty sure this is a cheap one from China. Okay. I have more expensive ones, but that's okay. All right. I'm going to put a drop. Can everybody see it? There. Ooh. Okay. Is that too much? That's the hollow. That's um, the hollow. Okay. No, that's fine. You just need one drop. I don't think so. Okay. Sorry, guys. I hate how slow sometimes these videos end up being because it's like watching paint dry. <laughs> Wash and polish dry. Oh, see, I was like anticipating it not it not coming out very fast, and so I squeezed. Okay. Do I need this purpley one too? Sure. These are all kind of cool looking. All right. They are. They're duochrome, you guys. You can get these at the craft store. Come on, go, go, go. Who are, who's this one by? Um, folk art. It's called Color Shift. Come on, do it. That. Oh my gosh. This is Color Shift also by Folk Art. The yellow one, same one, same thing. This hollowy one was gla glaze something, something by Deco Art. Yep. Ultra fine. Okay. All right. So now what? So now you're going to drag the brush through the paint. Doesn't matter which one. I would do hollow last. Okay. Drag it. Drag like, it. Like that. Okay. Yep. This now drag it. Thick, it is. Now drag it again on the mat. Oh. Okay. Now drag the tip through the paint. That paint. That's just it. a little bit. Yep. Okay. All those little steps. Slow. Oops. Okay. Do a few more. Right. Different lengths. You're going to be nice and crooked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I rushed that one, didn't I? Yes. Uh, that's so. just the Corey style. Waterfall by Corey. There we go. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. now i got to clean this, though. Now you need water. water. We do have water. We came yep. sort of prepared. Okay. okay. So rinse your brush in water. And I would wipe it off on a paper towel. Got one of those. So oh, it's way over here, though. Got it. Okay. All right. New color? Yep, new color. Let's try this one. So I got to glob it, swipe it. Oh, 
Not glob, but I was supposed to swipe it so through. You there. swipe it through the drop. See, now that's perfect because you pushed down that's, when you started and you too, pulled up right. when to finish and get slow down so you get it straight. There you go. Also, notice how Corey is um, using just the tip. Lay it down flatter so you get more. There you go. It's not very so you're, thick. You right? A lot of times, you guys, you have to use the tool. The tool will do the work for you. Um, and I think a lot of people don't understand that. When you master the tool, um, then you can master. do. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Um, and any artist is only as good as their tool. So when Ooh, that's kind of thing, and I've right? learned that by actually going to art school is you work with crappy tools Oops, tell. Um, you're gonna potentially get crappy art okay um, which is why art school is so expensive okay you're doing great why thank you okay let's see if anybody's Nail art by Kelly says, I don't know if I would trust my fiance to do this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, everyone who said it's hello. Polish. It's just polish. And this is if just If you don't paint. like it, if you don't like it when he does it, you can take it right off. And actually with acrylic, this is why I like painting, doing nail art with acrylic, because you can just get water and wipe it all off. Okay. Hollow. Hollow time. Hollow? Whoops. Okay. Right. Somebody see. says you're rocking the waterfall. Rocking yeah. it, baby. Bugs Bunny Elbow, hello. Right, long Bugs time Bunny no Elbow, see. you probably with that name, you must know about the Bricker Bracker Fire Crackers this boom ba. Bugs Bunny, Bugs Bunny, ra ra ra. <laughs> I do. I always that, do. But I, I always do that. I didn't ever sing it. I always sing it. I always sing it. How did that? That came up at work the other day at the warehouse. Kirsten says, Bob Ross turned his mistakes into happy little trees. Corey is making happy little rocks. Ooh, you could add little rocks. Whoosh. All right. The hollows d didn't Susie show up Susie Wilkie much. says, can we zoom in a bit? Zoom in? All right. Um, that's Facebook. Facebook. I don't know that we... Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. I am good. We would just have to make sure we stay in frame. Yeah. Right. Sorry, guys. Okay. See? Boom. Boom. <laughs> Corey, stop Oops. it. There. <laughs> and straight down. All right. Or yeah. this way. Okay. That's good. The hollow didn't show up like a lot. Oh, I see it. Do you? I see it. Because you, mm -hmm. you, you got to be at the angle so you, you can the see the, the rainbow shimmers. All right. Should I put another swipey? I color, covered up the yellow too much. All right. The yellow? You mean the gold? Yeah, that one. So you can go back and add other colors if you didn't feel like you got them well enough. All right. Um, cool. That's not too bad. That's all right. Oh, everybody's like, zoom in, zoom in. Sorry, guys. Um, okay. Okay. So this time, I think that looks pretty good. Not too bad. So there's a little rock right there with the pink right there. That's a rock. That was a rock. That's why I went sideways. Like, oh. Okay. All right. So now we're going to. rocking it. Get it? <laughs> Somebody said you are rocking it. <sighs> um, I probably heard that. Heard that from Somewhere. Kathy, I think. Somebody. Um, okay, so since I took away all of the polishes, let's use those striping polishes. Okay. And just do the same thing, glob them on here. But you're going to use polish instead of the acrylic paint. Oh, but I'm going to use this brush. Correct. Okay, so we're going to pretend like these We're don't... pretending like they're just regular polish, you guys. All right. I'm going to work on a glob. We gotta find a globbing spot that both can see. Hold on. Here. Oh, There's glob. your globbing spot. All right. Don't put that on the table, though. 
has to stay on the mat. I learned that last time because, oh my gosh, you know what I did last time? You know, I don't want to, oh, I shouldn't tell you. I, <laughs> I cleaned up, but I needed to move something that had acetone in it. And I put it on the table and it messed up the, messed up the finish. finish a little bit. Yeah, that was not so Which good. Which is okay because our children have um, messed up the finish as well. So <laughs> I've kind of given up on this dining table. and I lucked out because that could have been, been bad. So just glob it on there. Glob it on there. Like that? Is yep. that enough glob? No. Nope. More. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's a whole lot better. You want to be able I'm to drag stupid. the brush through it. All right. Okay, here we go. Can everybody see? Oops, that's not on Instagram. Hold on. Let's see if I can do this. Wiggle wiggles. There. Okay. We're okay, almost we losing go. Facebook though. <clears throat> I know, it's close on both of them. So I'm going to swipe through and then swipe on the mat. Just clean it if you feel like you got too much. Oh, okay. But if, it, if I don't think if, it's too much, it's all right. You're fine. Oops, that was fat. And I went, oh, jeez. Okay, so why was it fat? Because I pushed down too much. Yes. So I was trying to use the tool. Sissy Wilkie says at least... Oh, that was a good one. Look oh. at that. Ooh. You missed it, but that's okay. Sissy Wilkie. Says that with acrylic paint, you can use a toothpick to fix it, too. Ooh. And this is very true. Should I try that? See, the wiggle, see, it gives it character having a little wiggle in there. Right? Well, I don't know. I'm neurotic and I like things straight if it's supposed to be straight. Yeah, but see, organic waterfall is not perfect. Perfect. Okay. I was gonna, that was like perfection, I was going to say, but then perfect. So now, well, hold on. Now I got this polish on there. Yeah. I can't use water. No, you can't. Because it's not acrylic. No, oh, that's where the acetone goes. Open. Oh, we're going to. Okay. So now that we've zoomed in, y'all aren't going to oh. be able to see. Here, I'll zoom out just for a second. Wait, the after I do and this. contain circles, which is why I have Whoa. these. Okay. So I'm going to zoom back out. I will zoom it back in in a minute. Oh, Instagram. Sorry, I got to turn you a little bit again. All right. So now I got to put it in there without drizzling too much. Right. Normally, I would put this in uh, a little dropper bottle of some sort. <gasps> oh, I can use. Oh, wait, hold on. I got the it. Pipette. Pipette. Where'd the pipette go? Oops. I don't know. Everything. Oh, here it is. All right. There you pipette. go. If you got a pipette, great. Otherwise, so I'm going to suck, some up, sort of a dropper suck bottle. up some of that. I'm going to drizzle it right there. How much? Is that too much? Or hold um, it will evaporate really, really fast. Um, so you're fine. Okay. Probably want to keep this semi covered then, right? Yep. All right. So now, let's go like that. Yep. Paper towel it then. Yep. All right, I got this. So you guys, this is why I created the contain, crate and contain circles, so that you could put water in them or acetone so that you have this right there. Um, and I spent a lot of money to have the mold made for this. So it's the only manicure mat that has um, these ridges to actually, and I've actually poured. Ridges have ridges. <laughs> We're not talking about potato chips. Oh, sorry. Um, so the, I created the ridges so that it could actually contain acetone if we spill a little bit. Um, I've spilled a quarter cup of acetone on this and the little ridges around the edge. Catch it? Um, if you spill a whole bottle of acetone, no, it's not going to work, but it helps for those little spills, which I've done a lot of. I think I'm making these like two. Yeah. I did zoom back okay. in. Okay. Gotta make sure we're getting it everywhere. Yeah. Okay, good. There we go. That's pretty good. Oh, Sissy says, thanks for doing this. I really wanted to see the mat in action. You're welcome, Sissy. Oops, that one went too far. Oh, I gotta do different different lengths, right? You, <gasps> you moved your finger. I do. I need sorry. I know, it's, I was like I'm in the middle of swiping though. <gasps> I was trying to swipe. I almost swore, then I Ooh, would have to do have the to, tip chart. See, there's because there's a delay in what you're saying compared to the no, live sorry. action. That's okay. We, we're good. That was still pretty good right there. That was no, the one. No, it's looking that was good. A good one. All right. Let me see. All right. Good enough. 
All right, back to the acetone. Sorry, you don't need to necessarily watch me cleaning it with acetone because that's not the cool stuff. But look at that. I mean, because if the polish has shimmers. All right. I will oh my show gosh. Oh, <laughs> no, I better. Just I don't know if you can, but it, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. But anyway, it's so cool Instagram. because the shimmers are floating. Floating shimmers. In the in the create and contain circle. There we go. See the floating shimmers? Maybe not. No, they can't. Okay. All right. Just trust New me. Glob. It's fun. New glob. I was not glob okay. as well. All right. I know. So this would normally be regular polish, you guys, because I know a lot of you don't have acrylic paints or you don't have these striping, fancy little striping polishes, which are not my favorite anyway, because a lot of times you'll get a crappy brush inside. Oops. And... There is nothing like, again, when I was talking about your tools, if you've got a terrible brush in that polish, it's almost a waste. <laughs> Corey it's likes... always better with sound effects, right? Right. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, that's looking sweet. That does okay. look good. I'll clean it up. I'd almost go back and put the hollow... Oh, acrylic Ooh, paint. Because you top. can make you can mix you can acrylic mix. and polish, huh? You can. Okay. Except you just clean up differently, right? So this one's got a little yeah. silver. Okay, I'll, I'll ditch the silver polish and I'll go back and do. Oh, we cleaned all the gloopies up. Okay, so now I'm gonna do acrylic. And you guys, a lot of um, acrylics are like. <gasps> cool. They're. I think they're about these little craft ones are about. Two fifty. At yeah, least. but the, I don't know the if that fancy was on sale. ones are no. Oh. Um. <clears throat> the plain old acrylics. Are the regular nice. ones you can get for like ninety nine cents. Sweet. And if you watch for Michael's or Joanne's coupons and sales, you can get them for like fifty percent off. Um. And remember, for those of you who are on limited budgets, if you go and get just your primary colors, so I would get red, blue, yellow, black, white, and brown, and you will be able to make pretty much any color on the rainbow. How's that? Uh. Hey, wait, I'm gonna do one more right. It's hard to see that one. It is. It doesn't but show. But you can. Really. I can see it really great from okay. over here. Got it. That your different angle. Yeah. So when that dries, that's going to be like awesomeness. Yes. Now, if you go like this with your fingers, is oh yeah, I can see the sparklies. I don't know if that shows up on camera. No. All right. Okay. Now. <laughs> Somebody says whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> is that my swish? Yes. Whoosh. <laughs> on camera. Nice. All right. Okay. Now <laughs> Somebody says, whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that my swish? Yes. <laughs> All Mimi right. says, I find striping strips difficult. Striping stripes. Corey, you're doing a great job. Sissy says, has anyone tried puff paint on my nails? On your nails. That would be fun. It could. I've never tried it. It might be interesting. All right. Okay. So... Now, was there any other tech? Was there any other techniques you wanted? That's that's all that I know of. That was what you wanted to show. Okay. Yep. Cool. Do I need do to clean that the, up? Should I show cleaning one? up? I can do another one. We have twenty more minutes. I like these colors better, the polished ones. Okay. So I'll just do that, and we can now, see those questions. As your blob is sitting there, it's, it's drying. It is. So, so if you don't like what's happening on your brush. Put a new blob out in a different place. Don't put it on top. Okay, now try, Ooh, to, that was good. try to not go all the way to the tip. Remember, I didn't. You're gonna... I got that last one, I didn't. Yeah. Oh, I'm doing these two symmetrical. Oops, did that get on you? Right. Okay, that's good for that color. Oh, I take that back. 
Okay. Um, you need more acetone in your okay. little I got circle. It. Got it. Uh, I take that back. With If you're going to get acrylic paints, I would also acetone. get gold and silver. You can't make those. Okay, so what's the list again? Uh, let's see. Okay, so your primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. You can make purple and green and all different kinds of colors with that orange. Um, and then get black and white. And so that's how you change the tone of the color. <coughs> if you want it to oh. go lighter, you add white. If you want it to go darker, you add black. And then you also said silver and then gold and, gold. and silver. Silver and gold. I love those Christmas specials. <laughs> the the animated ones that were done like back in the nineteen seventies. Sixties, I don't 70s, know. Seventies, sixties? When I was a kid they were Rankin Bass. You could not watch them on Netflix because there was no Netflix. Are they on Netflix? You had to wait Netflix? you had to wait the whole year. For a new one. For a new one. Actually, no, I don't think you can watch those on Netflix. you got to buy the DVDs. Mm -hmm. They didn't have DVDs either. All right, there we go. Bugs Bunny says, I got Thursday and Friday off of school, which means I can finally watch your live. Woohoo! Woohoo! Mimi says, thanks for the advice. I don't remember what the advice was, but you're hey. welcome. <laughs> Silver and gold. All your colors, maybe. Maybe? The colors? Maybe. And also, you guys, um, if you're not familiar with mixing your colors, Google Color Wheel. Oh, not the same spot. Color Wheel, because that And that'll tell help you. you know what you can mix. To get like, what? Like, kind of how much to mix. Some of them will tell you how much. It's like, if it's 25% red and three quarters white to get a particular pink. Um, you can try and find one of those. When this gets on up on YouTube, I'll see if I can put a link to something like that. James, remind me. <laughs> I'm pretty impressed. You are getting really good at this. I am a professional. Not yet. No? I am. I'm an amateur professional. Wait. All right, that... so you guys, All right. you guys get to pick. Or help us pick. Let's do that. Help okay. us pick for next week, not including water marbling. I, you all want Next wanna... week? No, sorry. Next month. Are we get, have we decided how often these are going to be? Every month. The top once, of the once month. Once a month? Yes. Okay. The top of the month. Yeah. Okay. And then we, we got to go hollow, right? Gotta have hollow. I'm really liking this paint. So, okay, sorry guys, there's another paint. You gotta get hollow. <laughs> All right, so what am I up to? Three primaries, black, white. Oh, I didn't talk about brown. You did. Brown well, is yeah, actually brown, earlier. brown is actually a mix of all the primary colors, and plus black. I thought the black. it had green in it. I thought brown. Well, had blue had and green. yellow. Yeah, and green. true. That's true. But it's really, really hard to make, you guys. Without it just turning into a, ooh, I don't like it kind of color. I'm just doing a bunch of this because you like color. It's three, black, white. Whoops. Um, black, so primary, red, yellow, blue. Black, black white, white, brown. Brown. Silver and gold. Silver, gold, and, and hollow. hollow. That's nine colors. Okay, that's the bare minimum. There you go. All right. Oh, you were starting to ask what we should do next time. Yes. What you guys, technique? Not water marbling, but Why not? is there a tech? Because everybody wants to put you on the hardest technique there is. <laughs> okay, we'll work up to water marbling. We will. So we'll get there. We so will get you, to water marbling. What do you want to see him do? All right. Um, Sissy says the pinky is awesome. You got it. Sweet. See, see the guys, last one? Practice. A little practice. That's Just boring. like everything. That's what we tell our kids. They want to moan and complain because they want it to be perfect the very first time. Yeah, exactly. Just because right. I'm perfect the first time. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> All right. It did get better. It did it get did. better. I didn't have so many little wavy things like the first one. Yeah. All right. Okay, top coat. Oh. 
Do we have to clean up first, or you clean up? You could clean up coat? first. I don't know. What, um, you'll get a better edge with your top coat. You have time. So I'll like, get a better edge like, with my top coat. What does that I'm mean? Out of frame. What kinda. does that mean? Um, a, a whole along the whole edge, you will have covered up. So if you've cleaned up, it's easier to this, clean up first. It's not easier. It's you get a cleaner edge if you clean up first. And then the top and then coat top will coat. go over that edge. So you're not having to cut through the, the top, top coat. coat. Okay, well let's do that then. Okay. So I got oh but I need all right, so we're gonna sorry about my arms. And you've got your circles, so you can oh, put your acetone I could put it in, in the, a circle. Oh there you go, that's a good idea. So I'm gonna put acetone in the circle. Do I need to show everybody again? Or since we did it before. Mimi says, I'm top used, coat the nails, Corey. I'm doing, I'm doing a different circle because the other one's kind of corrupted a little bit with uh, the residuals of the other polishes. So, got a new con contain yeah, and create. Close don't close it. Okay. okay. New right. create and contain circles full of oh, acetone. One. Your red Is this my clean clean up brush? brush? I just, uh, actually I my that, friend Britt gave me that one. The Revlon. Um. Does it work well? She really likes it. But I know a lot of you guys that use... It seems like it's too much. How do I do this without... You do. You take away... It can take away some of it that's on the nail. You want paper towel to clean your brush? Oh, okay. Um, I forgot. What were you asking me? Oh, oh you were, you no. Were just I was talking, talking about, about the red You can brush. use any brushes you like. Um, I can't. A lot of people yeah. before all of the indies started carrying um, all of these different kinds of brushes. I know Mitty Burns carries some really, really great brushes. I think Twinkle T does. There's a whole bunch of. Um, anyway, find oh, your favorite see, brush. See, I, glo I globbed a whole bunch That's of okay. stuff. That's okay. Wipe it out. Wipe it out. Wipe it out like that. Yep. Right. And it's okay if you get it off the nail a little bit. All right. And don't work it to death. <laughs> hint, hint. All right. Let's see if I can clean that up. All right. Holy cow. This is not easy. No, it takes a little while. I sucked practice. at it at the beginning. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So don't worry if you have trouble cleaning up all pretty because, oh my gosh, practice. Just do lots of designs. You can do lots of designs. I hear there's this cool contest going on that you can do lots of designs to enter. For. Oh, yeah. You want to tell I should me about talk that? about that. You guys, for a whole month. Oh, I'm going to enter this one for feathers because it doesn't um, kind of look like feathers. It, Maybe. It works for me. All right. So I can't, um, I can't enter, but this would work for feathers. We can take a picture of it. Right. And put it in there. I can't win though. No. That's all right. You kind of don't need any of the stuff, the awesome stuff that we carry. I know. <laughs> There's this awesome company that has cool stuff. Anyway, tell so about the, the contest. contest. Oh. So this is such a fun contest. We have check my account. We have we're teaming up with Claire, uh, of Claire Stell Eight, and we've got five prompts. Uh, she's got them. By date, we really don't care what date you do them. Uh, We're pretty flexible. Yeah. And even Claire is like, you can do them whenever you want. But what it does is it she will feature some of them in her challenge account. And um, so she does that once a week. And so it's very helpful for her. Like the first week is feathers. So she just goes and looks through all the feather ones. So that just makes it easy for her. So it looks kind of like feathers. Yeah. No, I'm good with that. Okay. I'm pretty sure you need some hollow on that first one then. Oh, it's, okay. It's feeling lonely. And it's, okay, lonely. <laughs> little left out, little pointer finger. All right. All right. There we go. Okay. I feel like I got acetone on my hand in the circle. Okay. Uh, hollow, hollow. Oh. oh, I still have a little wet hollow there. And since the hollow, the hollow kind of just sort of is clear. It doesn't, it just adds some shimmer. I don't think it has to be as perfect. Just think. Because you're the boss. You've the boss. decided that. I have. I'll just sort of, there we go. Good. Water. Oh, that's the water. Okay. Okay. 
for another time. Okay, did you finish talking about it? Go to your oh. account because it and and Claire Estelle, if you follow her too, it has information on that. Yep. And I've got a little video on how to tag the photos properly. So that and it, the cool thing is you do one design and you tag it properly and you get two entries. One into hers and one into ours. We are giving away three, so there'll be three winners on our side of an autumn mega hydration kit. And then Claire is giving away three stamping kits. So you'll get our stamper, uh, a bottle of our Simply Peel, and our manicure mat. So really, it's really good stuff. Cool mat. It, it right. really is. I gotta do the tips like and that. the cool thing, you guys, you can do as many designs of each prompt. And do they each count as an entry? They each count as an entry Sweet. for both of our accounts. So if you want to do three feather designs, that counts as six entries. So fun, fun, you guys have a lot of fun. Yeah, these so, are all these are all about just having fun. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm well, just you're clawing. getting a lot of polish. Remember top coat? You float it. You float so you were, it. You were just doing such a great job explaining the contest, and I. So, oh, that's right. You got to float it because top, oh. top coat you blob oh. and you float it. So Be you because don't. you don't want to touch the brush to the polish because it'll smudge your design underneath, huh? Correct. Because I remember that with the pumpkin stamp thing. <laughs> yes. I didn't float. Sorry. No, you don't want to wipe your brush. What? Do not wipe the brush of top coat. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. You want a blob. What do I do? Okay. Don't wipe it on the inside of the neck. I just, so Take I just it pull out. it straight out. Yep. And I want that big old blob. Yep. And I let the blob, blob. sit there and float it. Turn, float. pull the brush, set it horizontal. Yep. Like that. I'm going to like that. So everybody asks me, what's the perfect top coat that stops the smudging? It's not the top coat, it's, it's the technique. It is. Oh, but you know what? With this one, it's not so critical. Because if you smudge this, you it's sort it, of, it like, kind it's of, forgiving. you're like floating it. You're, yeah. Yeah, whatever. But I will, oh, I, I wiped it again. Okay, I got to show you. So grab, take the blob. Wasn't there a movie And then about hold the, the brush almost horizontal. Oh. Good Lord. It's because we keep forgetting that. We'll yep. We got to remember that next time. It seems like there's a lot of top coat on that. It is, so but it dries to, oh, quick. And you do something the, with the tips. Yeah, so actually, you guys, when I do it, I do base coat. So go ahead and do it. I do base coat and top coat wrapped all the way around. Um, do I want it really thick like that? You too? want to try and not get it on your fingers as much as possible. Because what it does down there is it creates this big bloppy ridge, which is very easy to peel off. So this one, I probably don't want the blobbies you on the bottom. You want to be clean. As much as possible. Right. Whatever you get on your skin will come off in the shower. But just do your best. And this is what I call wrapping the tips. Um, if you just swipe the brush on the very tips, that's called capping. And so, so if you this want... this is capping if you just do stuff right. on the tip. But if you go underneath like this... Oops, I got your skin. That is wrapping because you want to seal that underside. Correct. I learned this. A really cute girl told me this. If you wrap it under the underside because then it prevents water from going. Oh, I got to do your Somebody thumb. wants to know what, what polish and what top coat it is. I'm trying to do it for this both This one's of them. my favorite one at this point. Um, it For me, it doesn't shrink. There's some other ones that are really popular that people love. Um, Sash Vite, uh, HK Girl, a lot of people love those. Um, but... They shrink on me, so. What does that mean? If it shrink, shrinks. Shrink means when you it pulls away because it's such a quick dry polish. Yeah. It dries almost too fast for me. Okay. And what happens is the polish will then pull away from the tip, and that's called shrinkage. So. That, and it exposes. But, it, but if you wrap the tip. I still and cap have it the shrink. Tip. It still shrinks on me. I, I, yeah. Okay. So. I like this one because I think it's a slower quick dry. Like that? Slower quick dry, okay. Yeah. So you would normally base coat around the tips, two layers, and then your top coat around the tips. And then if you think about it, so now you've got five layers on top, 
three layers on the bottom. So your tips are protected by eight layers of polish. So that adds temporary strength. It's a and good it thing. All, and it helps prevent helps your prevent polish from slippery from chipping in the from shower. <laughs> which is You don't want to be slipping in the shower either. No. So can you guys see the hollow? I hope you can. It's really cool. All right. All right. So we've got five minutes left. Let's see if there's any questions. Sorry, um, Facebook, that we messed up and can't get Facebook questions I know. today. Uh, a lot of people are laughing hysterically. <laughs> um, Didn't swear. Oh, somebody says gradients. Uh, oh, yeah. Stamping, needle. Oh, so you guys, Corey did a gradient and stamping with our last one, and you can see that on YouTube. Um, Cause that because that was a gradient not an ombre we talked about the difference remind yes. me it was gradient gradient What's the difference gra I forgot already. okay my shortcut <laughs> is gradient is grand so that means you're using a bigger number of polishes that are different colors okay ombre is one so you're taking one color and you're moving it towards black or you're moving it towards white so if you take a red and you go to pinks and get lighter white. and lighter and lighter to white. That's an ombre. That's an ombre because you've okay. chosen one color and okay. you're changing the tone or the value. Um, those are fancy artist words. So ombre O for one color. Gradient. Gradient grand, grand for different for colors. Different colors. There we go. Okay. So anyway, what else would people say we should um, do next time? Let's see. Stuff I need. Don't waste the precious hollow. Just keep scraping it off the mat. <laughs> That's right. Oh, it's yeah. drying now. Uh, great job, Corey. SC Gel Culture Couture. Top coat is fantastic. Mimi says you did a great job. Keep it up. Good job, Corey. Oops. Bugs Bunny, you finished wearing the purple manicure. Yes, that. Yes, I'm done with the base coat testing that took two months. So I am in the process of writing that article right now. Well, we'll, just, um, we'll just cover it with And all. getting that up for you guys. That's all I'm just <laughs> Yeah, don't waste the hollow. Just yep, I got it all. cover it all. That's all we got. So your thumb's just sort of a little sparkly. I don't know what technique that was. but <laughs> Natasha says, Anna, I have a friend, and she never wears nail polish, and her nails are long and very pretty. Why is that? Because she has thick nails. And you cannot change the thickness of your nail plate if you are born with, the average nail plate is about 50 layers of keratin, um, and it's and dead. People Oops, don't. put me in the paint. Sorry, trying to get you in, there you go. So they can look at something pretty while you're talking. <laughs> now I forgot what I was doing. Uh, well, so yeah, the yeah, average number nails. is about 50, and some people have more. So she may have 70 layers, and I do not know how many layers I have, but I would be pretty close to say 30, because <laughs> mine are really, really thin. So yeah. that's why, and yeah. I'm always jealous of people who can, can do that yep. and never have to worry about it. Yep. Okay, I, that is all of the questions I see and the comments. You guys are awesome. Um, we're gonna get that Hopefully two you minute something. warning. Yeah. I think yeah. this was good. Hopefully, yeah. And I have to say, I have never done a waterfall <gasps> manicure. Wow, you're gonna have to keep this forever and ever. Forever and ever. <laughs> you can take it off tonight. <laughs> I am because, <laughs> although I am definitely gonna clean it up a little bit more and take a photograph because this was good. Not too bad. I like it. Yeah. But I want to do something with the feathers, to participate with. All of you guys in our challenge. Oops, sorry. Instagram, right. you got to be farther this way. Okay. To be showing it. Oh, now you're out of Facebook. I know. See, that's the problem. I we know. didn't I line move, this I move up things up. 100%. I move things around a little bit too much. There we go. So I hope you guys learned something. This was fun. We'll be back next month. I will next be month. back next week. The first week. Thursday of the month is kind of what we're shooting for. So yeah. you get to learn with me on the first Thursday. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully, uh, all right. With my stumbling, you can figure out what not to do and what to do and all that. No, I think stuff. this was good. This was good. You got yep. a lot of coaching in brushwork. And yeah. 
Hey, it's Anna. I've written over 70 nail care articles that you can find at nailcarehq.com. And if you're looking for products that will help you have longer, stronger nails, visit myblisskiss.com. Be sure to push the subscribe button and turn on notifications to get alerted when I publish more videos. This is Anna, signing off and sending you bliss.